I say to him, I say, Brother Joshua? I find myself wrestling with your sermon. I mean... Go on. Because what you said in your sermon seems to go against everything our church believes. What do we believe? We believe in Satan. And we believe in Satan because the Bible tells us Satan is real. And we believe in hell because the Bible tells us hell is there. That hell is the price we pay for sin. Where? Where what? Where does the Bible tell us hell is waiting for us? Uh, seriously? Yes. In the Bible. Yes. It says the wages of sin is death. Death is not hell. That means eternal death. Says who? Says you? No, the word of God. Show me. When read in context. What context are you referring to? Luke 16, 28. Yes. Talks about Jesus. He, let me find it. it. says, okay. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Which is? Hell. It says a place of torment. And that's not hell? Wouldn't you call guilt, feeling bad about what you've done, a place of torment? Isn't that torment enough? Then what about Matthew chapter 10 or Luke 12? Matthew 5, verse 22. Yes. Again and again and again, Jesus says, Jesus, he warns us of hell, of the danger of hell. He tells us again and again about sinners getting thrown into hell. Here, it's... But it does not say hell. Are you going to let me read it? Sorry, go ahead. Fear God, who has the power to kill you and then throw you into hell. It doesn't really say hell. Didn't I just say hell? You said hell, but it does not say hell. In the original language, the word hell was not used. Instead, it's Gehenna. And Gehenna is the name of a garbage dump, a, a place where they burn trash outside of Jerusalem. He was just saying that when criminals die, they often get thrown into a particular trash heap, which is factually true. So that is what it is actually talking about. 1 Corinthians. Congregation, please turn to 1 Corinthians so you can follow along. 15, 22. Chapter 15, verse 22. Read along. For as in Adam all die. For as in Adam all die. So also in Christ. So also in Christ. Shall all be made alive. Shall all be made alive. Yes. As in Adam we die. That's what it, yes, it says. But of course we do die. We know that we die. But then the alive means that it's different. Different from what? Whatever it is with Adam? Yes. So clearly Christ does something. It says that if you're going to live, you need Christ. Sure. So. So. And you say. You say this boy, the boy in the missionary story, who uh, doesn't believe the word, doesn't believe Jesus is the son of God, doesn't come from a faith that believes in Christ. That is true. He does not believe in Christ. So, yes, I'm sorry, but it is certainly without a doubt a very sad and moving story about what can happen in a fallen world. But it's just that, a sad and moving story. It's a message that our work is not done and that we need to not be complacent in these dark end days. So... You're telling me that you would not, if you were, imagine you're on the throne and you have love in your heart. And I know you, I know you have love in your heart. And this boy comes to you. Will you send this boy to hell? I'm not the God. No, you're not. Blasphemous to even pretend. I am asking you in front of this entire church, these brothers and sisters, would you send that boy to hell? To look into that boy's eyes, knowing what he has done, knowing what he has given of himself. Would you? You would. I'd have no choice but to. Because? It's... What? The law. Whose law? God's. And God's law is just because we are fallen and we're sinful and we do. We do go into markets and we do set up bombs and we do kill one another. And in turn, what God asks of us all, he asks of us, is, that, is to just believe that he is there and repent and that is so little to ask to become cleansed. To say, yes, I accept that you sacrificed your son on the cross and we are saved from hell. But that's not what the Bible actually says. Because according to the verse you just read, 1 Corinthians, it says, it says all, not some, all. Who are in Christ. In Christ. With the help of Christ. That he gives freely. It says. In Christ. Interchangeable with through Christ. All through Christ. The sentence means because of Christ, all are made alive. 1 Timothy 4.10 We trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially believers. Especially believers. Which is to say, you don't have to believe. That, it says, that's what it actually says. 